Hello, hello. You have entered the gym for your relationship workout. We're going to flex the relationship muscles. Welcome to Gerald and Yvette Ministries. Thank you so much for joining us even on replay. We appreciate you. We're so thankful that you join us. We're so thankful when you come in and do your work out with us. So share the broadcast. Hello. Thank you guys for joining us. We are here and we are declaring, I'll surely go. go. I will surely go. I'll go where you asked me to go, hmm. Lord. Lord. I'll go wherever you ask me to go. Come on, y'all. I'm going to do whatever you ask me to do, how you ask me to do it. I'm going to follow <laughs> hey, I like your that. instructions. I am going to follow your instructions. And let me tell you, God's instructions in this hour, in this season, have wow. been very, very challenging, very, very difficult, taking us out of our comfort zone, pushing us to limits we never knew we had. Come on. I mean, pushing us in our relationships, pushing us in our finances, pushing us in our belief, pushing us in the spirit realm. We have been pushed in our faith. If oh. you've been pushed, let me know. If you have been stretched, mm. let me know. Wow. If your faith has been tried, let us know. <laughs> but we hey. still have to declare in our marriage, mm. in our relationships, I, I will, will surely, surely go. go. Surely. Not mm. just I'll go. We've got to get this attitude that I'm going to push past all the assignments of the enemy. I'm going to push past what the devil puts in front of me. I'm going to push past obstacles in my past. I will surely go. Yes, we've been shoved. We've been pushed. But it's mm. all God. It's all in God making us and molding us to what, it, it, what he truly wants from our marriages. What he truly wants in the kingdom. What he truly wants in our life. If we're looking for that perfect will, hey. there will be a push. Yes. And there will be a, he's listening for that, will you surely go? Oh. Will you go? If I send you, will you go? Mm. If I call you, will you come? Yes. It's instructions. Wow. It's how well we follow instructions. <laughs> and so we have to have that ear, really have to have that relationship with God that he would trust us to give us the instructions. Hmm. Mm -hmm. To win battles. Oh. Because you get strategies to win battles. Yes. If we're listening and we're getting strategies to win battles. Wow. And then all of a sudden he says, now will you go? Now oh. that you, I've given you the instructions. And some of the time I've given, I've given you the victory. Oh. Now will you go? Some of the time God has given us uh, our assignment. So lately he's been having me more in like a military mode. He's right. been telling me, Yvette, you're a soldier. Yvette, you're leading help meet soldiers. There's Come an on. army there willing to be raised up. There's, right. there's an entire help meet army that has weapons, but mm. they don't know how to use their weapons that have been given an assignment by God, right. but they know in their spirit, they know in their heart what their assignment is, but they're feeling weary and well-doing. They're wow. feeling that they're incapable. They're feeling like they, they can't accomplish what God said to accomplish. Wow. Fatigue. Oh. Tired. Mm, just, mm, mm. just feeling like mm. that things are just happening it's too heavy. Yeah. Why should I? Why do I have to? Oh. All of these, why do, why do, why do, why do? Mm. And God is steadily saying, well, when are you going to ask me what I want? Oh, Lord Jesus. Because, because we're so used to doing things our own way. Now, right. that's that's fine. And and some of the things that the, the body of Christ is dealing with is we, we have separated things from sin and not sin. Yes. wrong and right but there's a level of spiritual maturity that wow. sets in and some of the things that god is asking us to do it doesn't mean we're in it's sin right it doesn't mean it's wrong it means if we want god's perfect per will mm. if we want to be mature if we truly want to give up our will for god's will right. then there are things that he's going to ask us to do that are very difficult that he's going to ask us to do that we may not know any other person that's done it. There's right. some things he's going to ask us to do that we don't think we have the strength to do. And honestly, he's telling us, you don't have to do it in your strength. You got to do it in my strength. That's literally only the way it's going to get done. Absolutely. Because your natural mind oh, God. is going to say, what? I can't do that. I, that's not, that's, and who does that? <laughs> like that? You know, that's the, who does <laughs> who that? Who does that? I, I, that's not even real. Are you real? 
I, I remember when people say, people will say that things to you. Who does that? Who does that? That's not even real. Yeah. You, you, you didn't do that. Hmm. And then you see the you, evidence. You, you see the evidence of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting here. The manifestation. It, it, it's it's real. Yeah. And now it's I, I look at it now and I'm like, yeah, this is real. You, we look at the Bible and we say that it's real. And it's, yeah, it's God. what God is asking us to do. Yes. It's at, he's, I mean, he's really, really wanting to know in this time, will you surely go? Will you? Will you go where he's calling for you to go? When he asked us to move, it was, it was that. Will, will you, you go? go? Yes. <laughs> will you go? Yes. N not knowing wow. wh what's in store. Not knowing where you're going to be. Not knowing what's, what types of things that you, you're going to to um, come up against. Right. But once you give God a yes and you say yes hour ago, you literally don't know what you said yes to. Ooh. Down the road. You might have an idea, you know, a, a day or two or something, but down the road, that yes that you gave God a yes to and you actually walked it out and you actually did the things that he showed you and told you to do as you was walking this thing out because you said, I will surely go. Oh. I will surely go. That is like a, I'm a it's a surely yes. <laughs> I'm giving you a yes. Even though I have no idea what you're going to ask me. No. Even though I don't know what you're going to ask me to do in my marriage. I, I know that. Um, I'm learning that marriage really is, for God, is so much more about destiny and purpose. Come on. We have this Disney concept that it's about, you know, me having a dress or me having the, uh, you know, this life or that life or this, this, this um, fairy tale or that fairy tale. And that's all nice. We teach healthy marriages. We teach marriages how to, to be um, satisfied, how to improve your communication. We love that. But in all actuality, God puts people together because of what he wants done in his kingdom, because of what he wants done for his perfect will, because he puts two destinies together, two purposes together, and he mends them together as one because he has a kingdom purpose for your relationship, a kingdom mm. purpose for your family. And so when we, when we tap into that, when we really say, okay, we're going to do this thing, he's going to say, oh, okay, this is what I want you to do. And, you know, look at each other and, you know, look around like, um, you know, I might be willing to do that, but is he <laughs> willing to do that? Or he might think, well, you know, I'm willing to do that, but is she willing to do that? That is where we are in the body of Christ. We're in situations where God is asking us to do things that are stretching us, even in marriage. God's asking people to stay in marriages they don't want to stay in. He's asking people to, to not get divorced. He's asking people to get remarried. He's Come asking on. people to, to, to sit and wait and be still and know that he is God. He is stretching. But be sure, God knows what he's talking about, and he is not bipolar. <laughs> I, I, I. He is not bipolar yeah. and he is not changing his mind. And I know for a fact, I kept asking God, well, can I, can I, can I, would you let, would you, uh, he said, you can do those things. I'm going to allow you to do those things. You won't be sinning. I won't be angry with you, but stop asking me because you won't be in my perfect will. Stop wow. asking me what I want. So many people are in a situation wow. where they're asking God, do I still have to do this? Why are you making me do this? He's saying, stop whining, stop complaining. It is military mode. It is time to sit back and realize I, I have a general. I have a king of kings telling me what to do and I'm asking him all dress these right questions. Dress. I'm asking too many questions. Wow. I'm asking, do I have to do this? Do I have to do that? The answer is no. You you know, in the military, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I haven't been in the military, but I watch a lot of military movies mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of questions being oh, asked when you're on. actually being told to do something. Wow. There's not a whole lot of questions that being asked. You're like, Ooh. Why do I have to crawl? Why do I have to go here? Why do I have to be in the front line? Why do I have to shoot this dude? You're not asking a whole lot of questions. You have given a command mm, and you it. and you and you obey the command and you follow out the instructions. And you look like you like it whether you like it or not. And, listen. <laughs> you just say, "Yes, and, sir." "Yes, ma'am." And you got on your armor. Oh, come on, you're ready. Cuz you don't go to you don't go out there, I'm sure. That nobody goes to battle wow. without putting on their armor, without putting on their uniform, without putting on that hat, without yes, putting on that vest, the shoes, the boots, the clothes, the, all of that. And all of that. To be ready to, to go. To be ready for battle. To do what you have to do. And here's the deal. 
we've been looking at some military concepts and the reality is the military prepares you for where you need to go That's and it. you will have individuals that have specialized training you will have individuals that will be able to teach you how to use your weapons the weapons that you have they're not necessary if you don't know when to use them and how to use them so i i started asking god well how come marriages are struggling so much how come this is happening and one day he told me you i have a bunch of help meets that that aren't ready for battle. And, and I made them battle ready. I gave them weapons, but they don't know how to use them. And then the weapons that they know how to use, they don't use them well because they're heavy. You know, wow. guns are heavy. You know, uh, bombs, they're heavy. But you know what? When you're in the military, you carry all those weapons. Because let, let me tell you, you get in shape to carry those weapons because you do not want to go into the battle without having what you need. You don't right. want to be, you know, eye to eye with the enemy and say, oh, I left this back there because it was heavy. I didn't bring my big backpack. I bought my little backpack. This is not fanny pack um, army. This is big backpack army. <laughs> We don't, fanny fanny pack. Pack. I like that one we don't need fanny pack help meets and we don't need fanny pack priests, prophets, and kings. We need somebody that has some arsenal, some training, some, some, some weaponry, and not just I have the weapon. I know how to pray, but I'm just tired of praying. Right. What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? I know how to that decree and declare. That means you about to get beat up in this war. It, you are. You about, to be, you about to be a casualty. A casualty. Oh, Lord. A casualty don't be a war. marriage casualty. Come Do on. not be a relationship casualty by sitting back and saying, well, I know I'm supposed to decree and declare I did that last week. I did that last month. No. The, the enemy is still coming at you. Yeah. The enemy still wants your relationship. Yes. The enemy's trying to hinder your marriage. Yes. The enemy's trying to take your destiny and your purpose. Yes. The enemy is coming in. But God is raising up a standard against the enemy, but he has to use somebody in the earth realm. He's got to use somebody in the earth realm. So let me tell you, we we are getting ready to relaunch the Help Meet Suitable. We are, I am leading an army. And let me tell you, I come hear on, the boots. I hear the marching. We are going to come after the devil. No longer are we doing the, the reactive. Oh, okay. Well, the enemy did this to me, so I did that back. No, I'm looking for the devil. I'm coming out, we take guns territory. blazing, and I'm coming for you because you, you, you've you hindered my family long enough. You've hindered my destiny long enough. You've hindered my marriage long enough. You've worked, you hindered my children long enough. Not happening. We can't Not have happening. it. And I want a bunch of help meets that will join me in my mentoring program because I'm raising up, I mean, some help meets that are going to be suitable. They're mm. going to put on some suits. We're going to be suitable. And this is not going to be patty cake. So if you're looking for the Disney Channel, it's not here. <laughs> Ooh. Not here. Not here. Come on. Y'all going to operate in that Deborah anointing. Oh, Deborah anointing. Oh, yeah. They're going to operate in that Deborah anointing. Oh, yeah. Oh, Come absolutely. On. That Deborah anointing. We're taking anointing. territory. Come We're on. doing what God says do. We're saying, I'll surely go. What? Oh, Lord, God, you know, I didn't De know, you know that's where, where you were going to take me, but on. I'll do it anyway. You know that was Deborah. <laughs> Deborah said, I I'll will surely, surely go. go. <laughs> that, that was in Judges 4. And actually in verse 9. Yes. And she said, And she said, I will surely go with you, notwithstanding the journey that thou takest shall not be for thy honor. For the Lord shall seal Sisera into the hands of a woman. Mm, and Deborah arose and went. And Deborah arose. The and help went. me army is rising. Come on, Are you ready to rise up and do what God has called you to do? Come There's on. been some time when I, I get a lot of inboxes and God told me to do this, but... God told me to do that. God said I should do this. God said I should do that. I'm tired. I'm weary. I get it. Come so on. this Friday, we're going to deal with the it, weariness and the tiredness at, in our, on our webinar on July 12th. We're going to cancel the past trauma. We're going to teach on how you get past all of your past. But we're doing it for the sure purpose of being able to say, God, I'm ready. Mm. God, I'm ready for my assignment. I'm ready for, for whatever you have for me to do. What's the assignment you have for me? I'll surely go. Come on. Listen. I will surely go. There is an, everybody has an assignment. Yes. What's your assignment? Yes. What has God told you to do? Woo! And are you equipped oh. for that assignment? Mike, give me a hand. God, 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 are you equipped? On. That's it. That's the are question. You are you equipped for the assignment? Woo! Have you actually had the training 
for the assignment because God is God is not going to give you an assignment and not give you the training for it. Ooh. Now, are you are you looking for the training? Are you are if, if he placed it in front of you? Did you see it? Is the people that he placed in front of you that gives you an opportunity to get the Ooh, training? Are you that. taking it wow. or do you look at it as, oh, this is th this is really that's not for me? Uh oh. You know how we get that ain't that that's, that's not, not for me. me. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm not the one. But the enemy, <laughs> the enemy is like, yeah, I'm that coming. ain't for you. Okay, I'm I got coming. you. And then you sit back and you're like, oh my God, I needed that training. Oh my God, I don't understand why. Oh my, then this, that's when you're saying uh, questions, questions, mm. giving, hit, hitting God with questions. And he's already giving you some answers. He's already put things in front of you that gives you the training to actually do the things that you actually need to do. Because I'm telling you, the enemy is actually going to come into your house. Yeah. He's going to come into your camp. He's going to come. He's not a scared. He's not scared. You not you if you're not equipped and you're not ready and you not have a, you don't have a battle sound, Ooh. then you better believe that he's coming and he's gonna bring everything with him. And so when the enemy comes into your camp, are you do you have an arsenal? Do you have the equipment to kill the enemy? Wow. To destroy the enemy. Because if you read the, the rest of, of that judges four and go down. Uh, and, and Jael, Jael had a weapon. Sisera came into her tent mm -hmm. and he tried to rest in her home and she covered him. And then all of a sudden she put that tent peg straight through his head, Woo! straight through his head. So she had the weapon. Yeah, she had the weapon and mm -hmm. God had told them, prophesied to them that, that he would give the enemy into the hands of a woman. Uh -oh. Now you got a woman that led the charge and then you got a woman that killed the enemy, so killed the head me, of the enemy. So help me get ready to put something in now. your hand, to something. get something Come in now. your mindset, put to something get something in your, something hand. in your mouth so that you know how to you speak to it. the enemy and tell him you are eradicated. Come I on. am equipped. To, to, to annihilate you, Come devil. On. I'm equipped to cover my family. I am equipped. So what? every the help me army is rising, but you got to get training. You have to read. You have to study to show yourself approved. You got to do what God says do, and you can't have the attitude that is going to be nice. I mean, when you think about the military, Come it's on. hot. They got, on, they got on a full uniform. It's and hot. It's They're degrees. in places they don't want to go. What? They're away from their family for a certain amount of time. They have have a sacrifice and God mm, says we are soldiers that, in the that. army we are sacrifice. soldiers in the army and we have to sacrifice yep. and when we sacrifice that's when God shows up that's wow. when God puts super on our natural. That's wow. when God says, oh, okay, she's willing to fast. She's willing to pray. She's willing to get up early. She's willing to understand how she can put the past behind her. She's ready. Yes, we're going to have boot camps Come all on. over the country. We're going to be raising up help meets to do God's will to say, I'll surely go. When the assignment Come comes down, all you do, you look at it. You may not like it. You may not even see where God is taking you or why God is doing it. When a general gives you an assignment, you have to trust that the general knows exactly what's going to happen. They have scoped out the enemy. They know um, spiritual they tactics. They have intel. They have intel. They Come have on. exactly what they need. And so they give, if there's an assignment in the air, they give it to those who have been trained in the air. If there's an assignment on the ground, they give it to those who have been um, trained in the ground. When there's an assignment in the sea, they give it to those who have been trained in the sea. They cover everything. Everything is covered. Ground, air, and sea. Everything is covered. Come on, we getting you enemy wherever you are. We yes. covered it. Yes, we yes, covering yes. it. Come on, bombarding Hallelujah. the enemy with the arsenal that we have Ooh, at hand. Jesus. Some of y'all are, are are foot soldiers. Some of y'all are are airmen. Yes. Y'all, y'all, we're talking about um um. Wow, intercessors. Wow. Ah, yekorobo shande intercessors. That are operating in the spirit realm. Wow. That's that's air traffic controlling. Hey. You're controlling the atmosphere. You controlling the hemisphere. Mm. You're controlling it. That no demonic plot plans are ploy. No, no corrupt, no, no conspiracies are operating in the heavens. Ooh, I love that. I mean, we coming at it. Ground, we coming at it. Everything. Sea, we coming at it. Mm. Everything that operates in the sea, under the sea, round the sea, all sea monsters, all sea creatures, all sea demons, everything that operates in the sea. We're bound, we binding it. We coming and rebuking it. We coming and demolishing it. We blowing it out the water that it no longer lives. Come mm. on. 
And we've got to make sure that we understand, just like Deborah did. She basically said, um, this is scary. I'm sure she thought it was scary. I'm sure she had never done it before, but, but she knew she had a unique set of skills. Right. Come on, help me. Every help me has a unique set of skills. She uh, ooh, knew like God has called me to do something. She knew God has set her in place. She knew she, whatever was going to happen, she would get to the assignment and God would show up. But right. you gotta, you gotta say, I'll surely go. Gotta you go can't first. expect God to show up, but you're not where you're supposed to be. You Come can't on. expect God to do something supernatural, but you're not praying. Get God, do something supernatural, but he asks you to do something and you're not showing any faith. Right. I know it takes time. It takes training. It takes resources. It takes effort. It takes camaraderie. So I'm building an army because God asked me to. I'm bringing these women, these help me. These are the people who say, I'm going to be suitable. I may not be suitable now, but I plan to be suitable. I may be suitable now and I'm going to be more suitable. I'm going to get special ops training. Mm. I'm going to be God's Ooh, secret weapon. Wee. So my next book is, you SWAT. know, SWAT. Help me the SWAT team. God's secret weapon arsenal training. That's what's getting ready to be released because I need women who are not afraid of the enemy. I need women who know I know what God asked me to do and I feel like I'm not prepared. Let's get prepared. Come on. Let's get that training. Yes. Let's get that boot camp. Yes. Let's put them feet on the ground. Let's go. Put your arsenal. Get your training Get your special training. Yes. I mean, you getting special training. Yes, God. Because you, mm, you got a special job. Mm -hmm. You got God has given God has given to help me a special job. Right. A special job. Very to special. To actually push and to to help the the kings, mm -hmm. the priests, prophets, and kings, the heads to be who they uh, to God originally and intention intended for them to be. Yes. Especially when they we get off course because. We can't, we have, I have, I got off course, but my wife was consistent in who she was and what God has called for her to be and to help me. And so she pushed more into him that to, she was able to help me to see, to push. And now I'm pushing myself. Now I got to lead my family. Now it's like, I hear you here. Let's go. What's the strategies? We got the strategies. Here we go. Let's go. There you go. Let's go. I'm leading the charge. Yeah. I'm out front leading the charge. It's time to go. Ooh. It's time to do this thing right. Mm. It's time to get it right like God wanted to be right. And that's his perfect will. And so that's how that's that's what we love about what God is getting ready to do yes, with God. this new uh launch, with this new transform. It's to it's to watch and to see the, the what he's actually told us was what, what we're to see and to do. Mm -hmm. It's to bring help and hope to marriages and relationships and to family. And so as, as the women gain strength, mm. Mm. it's going to be it's, so it's, powerful. It's going to be so powerful. It's going to be powerful. Gonna be so powerful. So if you haven't signed up for the webinar, we're going to be giving information on Friday. If you haven't signed up for the July 12th webinar, Ooh, we're going to be that, doing please. some deliverance prayers. We're going to be praying. We're going to talk about raising your self-esteem, canceling generational curses, getting that healing that you need because soldiers can get injured. And if a soldier Ooh, is injured, she's not able to help me. is not able to work to her full potential if she's injured. So we're going to make sure that the injuries are taken care of. The trauma is dealt with and the ongoing information on how to keep your deliverance, how to keep your healing, how to make sure that the past stays in the past, that the things that have hindered you before, the things Say that have that. hindered your bloodline, the things that have hindered you in the past no longer hinder you anymore and you know how to keep your deliverance. I'm, I'm, I'm sad when I see people and they're up one day and down the next and they serve a mighty God when they feel delivered one day and then they're, they're depressed the next day. We want consistent deliverance. Deliverance. We want to be able to know how do I keep my deliverance? Because even the Bible says if you cast the devil out and you don't feel yourself, the, the enemy will come back and look and you'll be swept and garnished and they'll come back seven times worse. Wow. We're tired of the seven times worse. We're tired of people not living up to the, the freedom that God has, has ordained for you to have. So at the webinar, we're going to be doing exactly what needs to be done to not only get healthy, to not only get our healing, but keep our healing. Share the broadcast. 
Tag a help me, tag a priest, prophet, and king. Do what needs to be done. We're saving marriages through God. We're saving marriages through the kingdom. We're saving marriages because we're banding together and saying, you know, we got to get a little tougher. We got to know that we're going to sacrifice. Right. We know we're going to put our boots to the ground, but we've got to get it and get it right. Get it right. Keep it tight. Mm -hmm. Tight with God. Yes. Keep tight with God. The more, the tighter you get to God, the more you can understand and listen and get the instructions that he wants you to do. Because mm. he will order your steps. Woo! Daily. And when he orders your steps, steps, will you say, I'll surely, surely go. go. I'll surely go. There's Come something on. special. Not just I will go, but I'll we'll surely, surely go. go. That means if Ooh. there's a bump in the road, I'm still going past. If there's an obstacle, I'm figuring out how there's to get no past doubt. it. There's nothing you're going to do that's got nothing the devil's going to do to put something in the way that's going to stop me. He may try. I may have to be rerouted. I may have to slow down. Mm. I may have to look at it. I may have to get some strategies. I may have to get some tactics. I may have to come, come in conjecture, in connection with other people, but I'm not going to stop because if I said to God, I'll surely, surely go. go. That means you got to surely go. We've got to go. Well, that means what has God asked you to do? That you've decided was too hard. That you've decided I did it too long. God didn't, most of the time, God gives us an, an assignment. He doesn't say do this for a specific amount of time. He just says do it. I'll mm -hmm. tell you when to stop. I'll tell you, you, usually you stop when you see the manifestation. <laughs> usually you stop when you see your prayers answered. Usually you stop when God shows up. So we have got to get our spiritual stamina up to where we don't do something. Come on. For a month or two or three, a year or two or three, and then say, I used to do that and it didn't help. I used to do that and I don't do that anymore. What does that even mean? If you say, I'll surely go. Wow. There's, if you say it. There's no time on that. Yeah. There's absolute. If you say, I will surely go. Then go. There's no, there's no timing. Mm. No time that say you're going to stop. That say when you can stop. You say, I will surely go. Yes. And so you gave him a yes to go. You right. Spiritual stamina. We you gotta, gotta, gotta have it. We gotta we be able got to stick to it out. It. We gotta be able to keep going. We gotta have something in our arsenal that teaches us what to do when we're weary, that teaches mm. us what to do when we're tired. When you're in the military, people know what to do. When you're tired, this is what you do. When you get hot, this is what you do. When you're a little bit cold, this is what you do. When there's an enemy, this is what you do. When right. you can't see the enemy, this is what you do. There are all tactics, and the Bible has the weapons, the tactics, the strategies wow. in it, and when we cannot find it in the Bible, we have the Holy Spirit. And when we don't know where to find it in the Bible, we have the Holy Spirit. The Bible is full of battles. Oh, yes. And it's he and he has a lot of strategy. He has he is not stopped talking in battles. Mm. And once he says, the battle is not yours. Mm. It's mine. Mm. So you got to And use so you got to use go through him to, know. to actually understand the battle. That's right. Cuz some people think that when he says the battle is not mine, and then when we say the battle is not mine, it's yours, God, that means we sit back and do nothing. I don't Ooh. see that that's at all possible. What he's saying is gotta you, you got to use God's way. You yeah, got to use, you got to be strengthened through God. You got to use spiritual weapons, not your own carnal weapons. The, mm -hmm. the weapons of our warfare, they're not, not carnal, carnal, but they're mighty, mighty through God. God. Through God. They're through mighty. God. They're mighty. Come on, y'all. The weapons are not carnal. So when God says the battle is mine, that means we got to use the battle, the battle weapons that God provides for us. Ooh. He teaches us how to war. He teaches your fingers to, your hands to war and your fingers, fingers to, to fight. fight. We've got to understand spiritual warfare at a totally different level. We've got to understand that the enemy is not playing. He's not, he's not sitting back, so we can't sit back. He's mm -hmm. not letting up, so we can't let up. If we want marriages to work, if we want kingdom families to come forward, we've got to do more than the enemy. We've got two thirds of the angels and we have an angel army that's alongside of us. We got to use the angel army to come against the enemy, to come against the demonic assignments that are, that are hindering our generation, that are hindering our bloodline, that are hindering our legacy. We had prayer this morning and we prayed over the help meets. If you missed the prayer, please go back and listen to the prayer. Pray it over and over. Share it with your friends. Get what you need. 
in your arsenal to fight the good fight of faith. Once again, it's a good fight of faith. Ooh, because we win. Good fight of faith. Yes, God. That means if your faith is low, mm. you can literally ask God to increase your faith. Yes, God. Because he knows it's low, but he's waiting on you to actually ask. So true. He's waiting on you to ask. Because if you don't ask about your faith to increase, to get a, a sense of boldness about to say, surely I will go, mm. then you won't go. Wow. You'll sit back and say, God, that you said the battle is yours, but I'm, I need you on the earth realm. I, I need you as my vessel. If you're my vessel, I need you to fight this. I need you to use this vessel to fight this battle too. Yes. And so that's why we have to get his, understand his strategies. The devil is not trying to attack God. He's trying to attack us because we're in the image and likeness of God. Wow. And so he can't do anything to him. But since we're here, he figured that, okay, since I can't get to, I can't get you to do it and I can't get to you and I couldn't get to your son. Oh, I'm going to get to these, these other people, us, us. And so we have a battle every single day you wake up. There's going to be some type of battle, mm. some type of battle in are we winning these battles? Mm. Are we prepared for these battles? Because if you're in a marriage and every day it's been a a, a, a constant com, uh, um, um, broken communication, um, um, combativeness, uh, uh, grumpy, griping, um, bickering, arguing, uh, that's a battle. Mm. That's a battle. You wake up. Why do I have to? For, you, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to listen to this? Why do I have to? Why I have to put up with this? And God is asking you to stay. But you're not asking God, what's the strategy to win this? Mm. I want to win this battle. Yes. I, I don't. I, I want to. I, I know I'm going to need you every single moment. Wow. But I want to win this battle. I want to win my. I want to win my spouse over. I want to win my house over. I want to be the one that wins the battle in my home. Yes, God. If I can win the battle in my home, I can win the battle anywhere else. Because the people around me that's close to me are the ones that try to attack me the most or that can get at me the most, that can push my, 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 my points, my triggers the most. That's and true. so if, they're, if, they, if I can win that battle, mm. if I can win that battle, then I can win the next battle and I can win the best battle. And so as you start winning battles, your faith increases, your boldness increases. The fire inside of you increase, and now you're walking in a new place. You're walking with a new mindset that every battle you look at, you mm -hmm. feeling like I'm all I, I'm winning this battle. I got victory in this battle. If I, God says I have victory and that I'm a winner and that I'm an overcomer, then there's strategies that go with that. Yes, God. So God, reveal those strategies to me. Mm -hmm. In download it into me. Let me see it. Let me feel it. Let, give me the insight to it. And I will surely do it. I will surely go. If you tell me to do this, I will surely do it. Mm -hmm. If you tell me to say this, I will surely say it. If you tell me to keep my mouth closed, I will surely do it. Jesus. If you tell me to love him and he's not lovable, I will surely do it. I will do it with a smile. I will do it, whatever you ask me to do. I'll continue to feed him. I'll continue to do what he asked me to do with a smile on my face because I know that why I'm doing this, I am winning him over, her over, my children over. I'm winning my household. Hmm. My household. Wow. God is ready to win. The battle is in the house. The, yes. the, the, the battle is in the house. And the devil is trying to get into the house. Ooh. He's trying to use the people in the house to try to get to you. And so here's your battle. Yeah. So let's win the battle in our home. Let's win the battle in our mind. Let's win the battle that's in our heart. Let's win the battle that's in our flesh. Let's win those battles. Ooh. So we got to get strategic. We got to get the training to, to be able to win it. Because you would, our natural mind would say, who the heck is going to put up with that? Why do I have to put up with that? Why do I have to do that? He's get, they're getting away with this. Do you not see what they're doing? God is like, I see everything. Wow. He sees everything. You don't have to ask him if he sees it or does he hear it? 
He sees it and he hears it. Wow. But he's not thinking about, he's talking, because you're having the conversation, he's on you. He's on you because you're the one making the prayer. Mm -hmm. You're the one asking the question. So he's talking about you. He'll deal with that person, but he's dealing with us because he's trying to give us the strategies to win these battles yes, that, we'll, that we can walk out and win others. Yes, God. That's, that's, that's it. And so when he places um, people or, or things in front of you, resources in front of you to help you to gain strength, gain resources, gain knowledge, gain wisdom. Wow. All of those things are the part of your arsenal. Mm. They're part of your arsenal. That's your weaponry. Yep. And it's time to go. It is. And it's time to gain all the, the specialized training we can get. So please join me if you are a help me and you want to be suitable. We have a webinar on the 12th of July. It begins at 6 You 630. gotta get on it. You Go got to, to get Gerald on it. Bet dot com to sign up for Come the on. webinar if you haven't already make sure you know it starts at 6 30 eastern standard time but every individual gets the replay so if you are not able to do it at that time you will always have the entire replay there's there we will be doing deliverance prayers and teaching on Come healing on. and deliverance and how to keep your healing so that we can go into battle into battle to win it so our declaration today is i, I will surely go. go come on let me see him real quick i, I will, will surely, surely go. go yes 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 we are doing it the way god says to do it i will surely go i know the assignment sounds difficult i know the assignment seems impossible but god says with him all, all things, things are, are possible, possible. Like so that. with all things being possible in him if he's the one that gave you the assignment then he's going to give you the supernatural power to get the assignment accomplished we are not trusting god i'm saying we we get to a place where like well i don't know how he, i'm going to do that i don't know I'm how i'm going to be able to do that and then god is always telling me um i didn't ask you to do it come on I ask you to follow my instructions. I'm taking care of what needs to be taken care of. So I will surely go. We have to get to a place where we're like Deborah. When she had a, a, a battle in front of her, when she knew that there was, an, there was an enemy in front of her, whatever she needed to do, she said, I, I will, will surely, surely go. go. I'll surely go. That's the answer we give God. That's the answer we give Holy Spirit. That's the answer we have to stick with. I will surely go. Come on, God. We're I, Gerald, surely. will surely go. Yes, and Come I even I will surely we'll go. Surely it go. may be scary. Mm -hmm. It may be tiring. It wow. may be hindering. It feel like it's hindering me. But I know in the end, you're a rewarder. In the end, you're going to bless me. In the end, I'm going to start to see how the kingdom is going to be advanced because I said yes. Wow. Because I said yes. Because I did what needed to happen. Because wisdom being the principal thing, but in all my getting, I'm getting understanding. I got to understand understand my weapons. I got to understand what you told me to do. I've got to understand my assignment. Mm. And that means I got to study to show myself approved Ooh, and get the training that on. I need to stand firm against the enemy and do what God says to. I mean, that is the battle cry. Ooh. If you ain't hear the battle cry in that, mm, mm, mm. I mean, it's like I need to hurry up and get in this army. Hey. I got to hurry up and get in this army. Listen, this army is going to take the enemy out the game. Yes. I mean, it's going they're they're going to mount up from every part of the country, every part of the world. All right. And they're going to it's just like army battalion everywhere. You know how the military is. You got military here, military there, military bases everywhere. And military bases are getting ready to pop up. Mm. They're getting ready to pop up. And when we're talking about help me army that's getting ready to pop up, you talking about SWAT that's getting ready to go to work, that's about to take territory. Taking first of all, they're gonna take back their homes, they're gonna take back all of their their, their neighborhood, their territory, their region. They're gonna take it all back, and before you know it, you get your head on the CBS news, CNN news, how there, there's a a, a move. That God is, that God, CNN talking about the move of God. 
There's women that are coming across, praying across America. They're, they're decreeing across America. They're taking back homes. You're talking about broken homes no longer being broken homes. You're talking about families are being restored, reset, rebooted, re-energized, back to the original place. I'm believing that. Yeah. I have faith in that because God showed it to you. He said that, that you will see families come alive. Mm. We're going to see families come alive. We're going to see God. families come alive. Thank you, God. So get on the webinar. Yes. Get your training. Get your resources. Get your healing. Get your deliverance. Get yourself whole again. That when you step out. Ready to the, go. The devil, the devil is trembling. Yes, yes, yes. What has happened to them? Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What has happened? The help meets are in place. The help meets are doing what God intended for them to do. Ah, uh, the enemy is in big he in trouble. trouble. Big, big po trouble. Ooh, it's so much power in the numbers. Ooh, Jesus. Yes, come on. It's power in the numbers. It's power in the numbers. So I hear the boots. I hear Ooh. the marching of the help me army. You know that's so scary. Mm. When you hear boots coming, Ooh. and when I mean they all in marching. sync. And they all in sync. It seems so mm. loud. And I mean, so it, it it's like it, it reaches like miles. Come You're on. like, oh my God, is it like miles of these people? Yep. I mean, they just doom, 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 here come doom, to help doom, me. Doom, doom, doom. That's a battle sound. <laughs> That's a battle sound. That sound that brings fear. That they're coming, and as they get closer, they get louder. Yes. And as they get louder, you start trembling. And the devil does not want to hear those boots coming oh because he God. knows that ooh, under your under your feet, mm, my God, mm. under your feet, that he's gonna be. That's he's exactly under he's your be. feet. Yes, God. And the multitudes of y'all stomping y'all feet, marching at the same pace, at the same time. Oh, my. Synchronized. Man, I'm sorry. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So, Amen. come get to our website, GeraldAnnieVet.com, and like our YouTube channel, Gerald and Yvette Ministries. We appreciate you. You have entered the gym, and you have had your relationship work out. It's been a work out. So, that's all we have for you today. If you missed the beginning, go back and listen to please. it on Please, make sure you share this, and please. make sure you share the broadcast. Share it with all your make friends. Make sure you tag a help me, tag a priest, prophet, and king. Make sure people know we are taking marriages back one by one for the kingdom of God and doing what God says do. No longer will the enemy have a foothold in the marriage and in the family because we're Come taking on. the marriages back taking the marriages back so thank you for going to our website and signing up getting the resources that you, you need too. and liking our youtube channel gerald and yvette ministries and on our website do you see it is wear it wednesday paparazzi Ooh. ladies uh, well, not just ladies, because there are lots of men doing paparazzi. But I love it. Paparazzi, it is Wear It Wednesday. This is one of our newest pieces that come with the earrings for $5. So come cute. On. I love it. Love my paparazzi. It looks good. You can look good, too. Go to GeraldAnnieVette.com. Go to the store and look under paparazzi, and you can get your paparazzi gear. Later on tonight, I just might come on and show a couple pieces. I got a couple of one and dones. And I could just, you know, let me give you a sneak peek. Look at that. I'm going to give you a sneak peek because I have it right here. I can do this because it's our broadcast. Hey, look at this piece right here. I like that. I think I'm going to do a sale tonight. I think, what y'all think? You think we can do a sale tonight? Who's a consultant? Sandra. I think I'm going to do my first Facebook paparazzi sale. I think I'm going to do it. I'm on Facebook all the time, but I don't usually do my paparazzi. But you know what? I think I'm going to do it. So maybe around 930. You know, turn your notifications on. You never know when I might do one and done sale and be like, uh oh, look at this paparazzi. Do your thing. Hey, hey. paparazzi, he's going to be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> come on back at 930 or so wow. and, and help me out. You want to help me out at 930? You gonna be away? Wow, you done prophesied I'm be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's prophecy. <laughs> no.
No, that's just I know. Y'all know. Y'all know bitch is gonna be sleek. Don't ah, they don't know me yes. like that. Books and workbooks and webinars and all kinds of things. Thank you, Angel, are on our website. We're having a good time. We're having fun. Share the broadcast. You know what to do. We have to remind you. Marriage works. If you, you work, work it. it. I love her, I love her. I love her, I love her, I love her. <laughs> good night.